Hotep was good. This is Ampool Ra with another video of actual travel. Um, the last video I did, I spoke about what happened with the experience that I had a lucid dream. And um, within this lucid dream, I met an entity that I didn't know that exists within history. Within the first religions that was practiced in Africa. And the entity name was Ogun. And um, like I was saying before, it's uh, kind of hard to make people believe in this type of information. And like I said before, I don't really, I don't believe in anything. It's either I know or I don't know. But um, sometimes people need to experience these things themselves to understand what exists outside this physical realm. And um, I think if I was just just some regular person that never had these type of experiences and they tell, you know, if someone was to tell me, yo, you know, you can leave your body. You know, what do you think about astral traveling? You know, I probably wouldn't believe. But then again, I probably would because I always have an open mind about things. But, you know, you got people out there that just don't believe in, in certain things. And, um, but I'm speaking from experience. And I know I'm not alone. There's people out there that have the same exact experience. Um, there's people that go through meditations and they're able to tap into their higher, higher conscious and see entities like Ogun and, uh, Oshun and Obatala, the gods of Orisha. And, you know, through my research, I found out that the gods of Orisha, you know, they're the same gods of the Netters within the ancient Kemites, Kemet, ancient Egyptians. You know, these entities exist. <laughs> Believe it or not, they exist. You know, there are records of these entities. There are people that had many experiences with these entities. And my experience was was the one that I had on January 9th, 2014. That was my experience with that particular entity named Ogun. And um, it's kind of crazy because after I did that last video, I kind of like put two and two together. And I didn't realize that uh, the video I did before that, I spoke about how I was in a, this ritual. And the African man that I always see all the time, he, was, he took part in that ritual and he gave me a machete. And it's funny because... When you do the research about Ogun, he's always carrying a machete, a sword, or some like a blade, because he is the god of metal, which was crazy. Um, I kind of put two and two together right after that, after that uh, video. I said, "Wow, I didn't. I just made that connection after, <laughs> after uh, all this time. You know, made the connection, and um, like I said, the energy is there." I'm just still trying to figure out how this works, why it works, when it works, and what can I gain from this. And um, yeah, so like anything is possible. Um, if you out there and you you trying to have this experience, then you you're definitely on a higher spiritual level. You know, some people don't even care about these type of things. All they care about is just going to work, get money, and do the day-to-day -day basic things that they do all the time. Like a fucking machine or like a robot. They programmed. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to look out outside of themselves. Like these things just doesn't interest them. And that that shows and proved that um, those people, they just lost. They, they're so asleep. They're not ready yet. And people like me and people like you... Especially if those are watching these videos. If you're watching these videos, then you on to something. You know, you're questioning your existence. You know, and you shouldn't have to be ashamed of questioning your existence or questioning religion. 
You know, when you go to church, they don't want you asking no questions. You just sit there and you just listen to the preacher preach or the rabbi speak, you know. But um, I question everything because I'm the type of person that just want to know everything. But sometimes, you know, you got to be careful what you ask for because the answers will come to you when you put that out there in that universe. Put it out there in the universe. It comes right back to you. And um. Speaking of universe, you know, I was I was thinking after the last video about how things work, why things work. And, you know, think about it. We are just all atoms and molecules, right? Like everything around us that exists, matter, is nothing but atoms and molecules. And it has a consciousness, you know, and our consciousness and our minds create this three-dimensional physical planet. And I was thinking on the inside about the atoms within me. You know, a body has billions upon billions of atoms. And, and it's like they have a mind that they own. You know, we don't control them. You know, we don't control them. They do their own thing. They have their own conscience. You know, you have your red blood cells and white blood cells. And they do their own thing, you know, without us trying to command it and control it. Like the movements of our body and so so, but um, I was thinking because they say uh, whatever's out there is within us. So I was thinking like how I was like kind of think about it like our atoms. What's going on in our body is like little universes, you know. The atoms could be like planets, and what if there are some type of uh, entities living on these cells like planets, and uh, was and, and going smaller and smaller and smaller, going within the atom. And then I started thinking, okay, so then let's look without. What if all these planets and suns and all these things that's in the cosmos are like atoms within the body? In the dark space, we are within this gigantic body. And so on and so on, because things go on for eternity. Everything is infinite. You know, you have always ask, like, okay, you know, within the Christian community, God is the father. Okay, so if he's a father, then who's his mother? You know, what came before God? You see what I'm saying? Okay, father, you have the father, then you have his son, which is Jesus. You know, if Jesus already existed within the heavens, so who is his mother? So these are the type of things. This is how, this is how I always thought. I was always a, a deep thinker, just always questioning everything and just, you know, just want to know. I just want to know. Just want to know. I just want to build up my consciousness and want to understand what's going on. So, um, like I said before, the last video I did was uh, January 9th, 2014. And um, I also had another experience within uh, three days after that, January 12th, 2014, which was a Sunday. I mean, it was a very, uh, very short experience. But it was an experience, you know. Um, it was around 3, 3 a.m. And the vibration was very strong. And when I tried to open my eyes, it was very blurry. Because I, at that time, I, was, I wasn't, I uh, I didn't know the information that I know now. Because um, most, most, most of these experiences were very short because I wasn't letting the vibration takes its course. I wasn't letting it charge up. So when I was having these experiences, I was always just trying to just jump out my body. But now that I'm conscious and now I, you know, during this research, which uh, this journal proves that, you know, trial and error, you you just only get better and you'll understand the things that you uh, have, the questions, the things you want to know. So um, it was very blurry. And I could feel someone touching my arm. Couldn't see them, but I'm pretty sure it was the gin. 
And that's another thing too. Like sometimes you gotta prepare yourself when you ask your travel because you're gonna see some things. And you just have to always remember that these entities and these things are they were always there. It's just that you can't see them. They were always there. So um in this experience I had got scared because I felt like something touching me. But you know, like I said, when I have this um this sleep paralysis state, when I'm having this vibration, I'm very paralyzed. I can't move. So, you know, it's a very uh it's a difficult situation when you can't move and you feeling something touch you and you feel you feel kinda helpless. And um and I heard voices like if um like a like a like more than one person was whispering and I as this vibration going on because the vibration also has like a sound okay and then I'm hearing this whispering behind it like someone's conversating but I I'm trying to hear it I was trying to listen to what they were saying you know but I just couldn't hear it I just heard like a whispering sound so then um I kind of like shook it I shook myself out of the uh, out of the vibration and I got up. I got up and I looked around and there was no one there. And when I tried to go back to sleep, the vibration came again. But this time I managed to stay calm and I had no fear. That is like the most important thing is to stay calm when you're having these experiences because at the end of the day, these entities can't hurt you. I mean, these entities never really heard at me. They never, like, did anything. They Mostly the time, they was just staring at me, like if they were studying me. Or maybe they was amazed that I was able to do this, and they probably like, do he realize that he just left his body? You know, like I said before, when I used to leave, when I leave my body, and if I see these, uh, the djinn, these shadow beings, they'll run away from me. They scared of me. They scared of me. So, um... And here I said, for the first time, I could feel the energy going up my spine and into my brain. I didn't leave my body, but I just embraced the vibration. So within that, within that experience, I wasn't even trying to leave my body. I was just trying to understand what was going on with this vibration. So I was basically focusing on this vibration. And at that first time, I actually felt it moving. Because any other time, I just feel it like in my head. And I just hear the vibration. And But this experience, I felt it moving up and down. It was moving up and down. And it was kind of like I had control of the vibration. And I just let it take its course. And um, it kind of looped me into a dream. It kind of looped me into a dream. Uh, I didn't leave my body. I didn't go nowhere with that with that experience. But that was two times in one month. Sometimes that happened to me. And if you watch my other videos, I've had, you know, two times in one month. But that was a very short experience. But every experience is a new experience, something I learned new. And with this one, I was more focused with the vibration and how it started from like the bottom of my spine all the way up to my brain. And you notice that uh, that's your whole nervous system. That's your whole nervous system right there. You know, and within the nerves, you know, you have electrons. You have electricity running through your body. Electricity is energy. <laughs> it's a molecule. So, um, it was something to to meditate on, something to think about. So uh, I'm gonna leave y'all on that note, and I'm gonna say, "Hotep, peace." It's Ampu Ra, the Astral Traveler. Start thinking outside the box, and you will see for yourself. And you won't have to believe anymore. You will know. One.